supposed to love our neighbors. We're supposed to pray for those who persecute us. You know what a radical Christian does? He prays for you. You know what a radical Christian does? He gives you hugs. And he prays for you. That's what a radical Christian is. The yeah. only, okay, for you as a Christian, yeah. I will advise you something. Okay. The only right Quran, uh, translated Quran on the first of earth for a guy, his name is Usama Dabdu, yeah. the straight, the straight let's, way, let's, let's the, straight way uh, the straight way ministry. Let's go over here because beeping again. Yeah. Read that, then they will Read it to them. His, his name is Osama Dukduk, the Straightway Ministry, and it says the generous Quran, which yes. is true the because Al Quran, Al Karim, Karim yes. means generous. generous. Karim. Okay? okay. So this is for every Christian to know no, that don't don't trust. Oh, that's why many Muslims, I feel sorry for them, for Me real. Too. Me too. I do feel sorry yeah. for Muslims who do not understand the mother language of the Quran, Amen. the Quran. Pakistani Muslim or European Muslims, Amen. or uh, Persian Muslims here in Iran, and, and also like uh, Moroccan, South, uh, North Africa. These countries was all Christian, and they've been by the conquest. Remember, al Futuhat, the conquest, the Islamic State, like ISIS. They say, Baqiya wa tatamaddad. This is their uh, theme. Baqiya, it will stay, and it will expand. Wow. It will expand. What the Muslims are trying to do now, as of today, now and nowadays, always you hear Muslims say, we believe in Khilafa, Caliphate. In Islam, there is no border in Islam. Islam doesn't believe in borders. You know, like Canada, USA, Britain, whatever country, as a border. They don't believe. They believe in the Caliphate, Al Khilafa. Al Caliphate, you know, the empire, the Islamic empire, the Islamic yeah. state. Yeah. That's why they want to conquer. That's what Caliphate is. Yeah, this is what the Caliphate, because after the death of Muhammad, there was like Al Khalifa, you know, Caliphate, Abu Bakr, Al Khalifa, Caliphate, you know, and then uh, Omar, and then Ali, and then Abu Bakr, and then the Amawiyan Caliphate, and then Al Abbasiyah, and then Al Fatimiyah, and then Al so many Caliphates, so many. I can name, like history, it's been. Until the 1920s, something under the Osmanic, after the Second World War, like, there, there, it's a history. You should go and read it. Muslims, they don't, they don't read. Ummat Iqra, I always say this, Ummat Iqra, the people of Ummat Iqra, la taqra, they don't read. This yeah. is the problem. Yeah. So, in the so a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of people become Muslims from ignorance, just not knowing any better. I feel sorry for them, and also misunderstanding the, the Trinity, you know what I mean? The salvation. They are deceived. We are in a spiritual warfare. Amen. And also Muhammad, he put in Muslims' head. Uh, in the Quran it says, وَلَن تَرْضَ عَنْكَ الْيَهُودُ وَلَن نَطَارَ حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ it's a, it's a psychological issue. They think that the Christians and the Jewish people, they will never love them or be okay with them until they become like us. This is the type Muhammad, Muhammad, he was a... He doesn't have a um, security, you know, he was he's real insecure. Yes, he's insecure. That's because of his background. Exactly, because of what happened to him. You remember what, what in yeah. childhood or Raped whatever. Yeah. So I'm going to read it for him. It says in Surah uh, Yunus, uh, uh, chapter 10, Surah, verse uh, 94, it says, فَإِن كُنْتَ فِي شَكٍ مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ فَاسْأَلِ الَّذِينَ يَقْرَؤُونَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ it says, so if you, Muhammad, are in doubt concerning that which we have revealed to you, that uh, name written in the Torah and the Injil, then ask those who were reading the book before you. Amen. You know? Amen. So, who was reading the book before them? The Christian. Who's got the right God? The Bible. Amen. And also, if you if you want to really search it very well, nowhere I can challenge every Imam in Canada to prove to me that the Quran says the Bible was corrupted. Nowhere in the Quran it says the Bible was corrupted. By the way, nothing. There is no. There is nothing. Not even one verse directly says where it says the Bible was corrupted. It's actually the opposite. It's calling Muslims to read the Torah, to read, and also another one thing, as a, as a, you know, Arab Christian convert, 
When we talk about the Injil, the in, what's the Injil? In Arabic, the Injil, uh, uh, Al-Bashar al that means good news. Good news. Who's the Injil? The Injil, it's not a book. Jesus, Jesus. is the Injil. Oh, hallelujah. What's the Injil? Jesus. Who's the Injil? Jesus. Who's the Injil? Jesus. See, come on back to the real God. That's all we're trying to do. There's no salvation in the Quran. There's no salvation in Islam. Salvation can only be found under one name, and that name is that Jesus Christ. Which means God saves. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to save us. And that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to bring you back to the realization of that savior. Muhammad pulled you away from that savior. The Quran pulled you away from that savior. But even in the Quran it tells you that Jesus Christ is the word of God. Jesus Christ is the spirit of God. And that Jesus is the Messiah. So therefore you should reach, and it also says that the Injil is the word of God, it says that the Torah is the word of God, and it says that God's words cannot be changed. Therefore there's no way that the Bible could be corrupt, there's no way the Old Testament or the New Testament could be corrupt according to the Quran. So come on back to Jesus. Come on back to the real God, the God of love, the God who died for you, the God who sacrificed for you. The God, and it even says that God is love. So that means that when you come back to God, you'll be a child of love. You'll be a child of the Most High God. Amen, brother. You'll be a servant of love. Look how beautiful that is. If God is love, and we're a servant of God, that makes us servant of love. Whoa, let that sink in. Servants of love. Nothing greater than that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Love you, brother. Spread, spread the love. Spread the love of God, because God is love. He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him, Muslim, Christian, whoever, all you have to do is believe, like Serko says. And you too, you too will be assured salvation in heaven. Jesus Christ is the only God that assures you salvation. He's only, only being powerful enough that says, look, it's not by what you do, it's about what I did for you. He's only God that says, look, I sacrificed myself for you. Every other religion says, I want you to do something for them. If God is so powerful, how come I have to do something for him to get to heaven? If he's so powerful, shouldn't he do it for me? And that's exactly what Jesus did. On the cross, one of the last things that he said is, it is finished. Meaning his work is done. Meaning he did everything. Every, every sin that you've ever committed, past, future, present, has been forgiven. It's been nailed to the cross. And that's what that's what you all that's what Muslims are missing. You're missing salvation. There's no salvation in Islam. There's no salvation in the Quran. Salvation can only be found in one name. That's what you all that's what Muslims are missing. You're missing salvation. There's no salvation in Islam. There's no salvation in the Quran. Salvation can only be found in one name. And that's what exactly is Sharia law? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me videotape. Wait, 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 wait. Like, is it, is it, a, is it a form of government? Wait, wait, wait. We have to fight the men are so... Just the last one. Okay, go ahead. Five minutes. Okay, quickly, quickly. I just want to know, is it a form of government? Is it a form of laws? Like, I don't understand that at all. Okay, okay. Let's put it this way. Okay. Islam... It's a political ideology wrapped up with religion. Okay. They think it's religion, but it's not. Remember when Muhammad started his first da'wah? Yeah. I took you 1400 years ago. Yeah. If you didn't understand what happened 1400 years ago, you won't understand what's going on now. Amen. You, have to under, you have to go back. The book called Al-Mufassal Fi Tarikh Al-Arab, this book. There is many books, I read many books. The Arab history. We have, I, I, I searched the Arabic, the region, what happened there, what's going on there, what has been happening there. So, when Muhammad first started his da'wah for religion, he said, I am the final prophet to bring a religion. Yeah. Claiming to bring a religion, but he wasn't really bringing a religion. He wanted to bring a state. It was a, a just a, 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 a remember, yeah. at that time, yeah. there was many prophets yeah. with many, the books, it was like a, a region full of false yeah. teachings and yeah. whatever, a, a heretic, yeah. heretic. And there was another heretic man called Waraka bin Naufal. This Waraka bin Naufal was a heretic, like he had been kicked out from the church, uh, denying that Jesus is Lord. He taught Muhammad as well. Khadija, his first wife, from a heretic group called uh, Al-Adhuniyin. I'm not going to take too much information, but 
If you don't like the Quran, become Christian. She's reading from the Quran, she's reading from your law, so you're angry at yourself. Get angry at Allah. They don't like to be exposed. Yeah. Yeah, being, get, mad, get mad at Allah and if, if false prophet Muhammad. Don't me, get mad at her. If she talks okay? to me, I'll, I'll tell you're her. You're not, you're not even wrong. on her level. You're not educated enough to talk to her. Sorry. I, I, I'm a comparative I, I religion I student. I studied the Bible and the Quran. I'm, I'll wait for and, you. Okay, can you read this? Can you read right. this? Are you Christian, man? No, no, no. She Christian? asked, can you read this? You no. She said, can you read that? You no, okay. No, no. You, 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 no. What's that to you? you, know, you, you, you yeah, that's not, no, that's no. not important. That's not important. That's not important. That's not important. Yeah, that's not going to important. She said, you, can you read this? That's what she asked. Okay, yeah. This is called deception. This is called, ta- what's it called? Takiya. You're a liar. This is called Takiya because you don't want the truth to be exposed. Okay. It says, إِنَّمَا جَزَاءُ الَّذِينَ يُحَارِبُونَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولَهُ وَيَسْعَوْنَ فِي الْأَرْضِ فَسَادًا أَنْ يُقَتَّلُوا Imagine, a apostate like me now, okay? Either I should be killed, according to Sharia Allah, constitutional book, either should be killed, or crucified, or cut, cut, or 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 cut, to cut the hands and the legs from the opposite side. Like they will cut the right hand 
with the left leg or the left le the left hand with the right leg. This is the khilaf, mean khilaf, the opposite side. If someone decides to leave Christianity today, what's the punishment? We'll pray for them. Thank you. <laughs> That's Amen. The Amen. So, can you see the difference? Amen. Can you see the difference? Amen. According to Sharia Allah, if someone leaves Islam, either should be killed or crucified. See how, see how Muhammad is evil. evil. There is no mercy. There is no questioning. There is no giving time to think and repent to whatever. And also, I would love to ask 1.5 billion Muslims on earth, is there any Islamic solution for terrorism? Amen. 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 What an education we got today. What an education we got today. And just remember, all this is just to say that you have the wrong God. We want to bring every imagination and every vain thing into subjection of the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Because he's the only way to heaven. He's the only name which one can be saved. And you know what? We're out here out of, from a spirit of love. Because a, a, a true brother will tell you the truth. If I love you, I'm going to tell you what you believe. And I'm going to expose a lie for a lie and, and give you the truth for truth. So everything that we do is coming from a good place. We don't think, we think that Jesus Christ saved Muslims. Jesus Christ can save homosexuals, alcoholics adulterers, fornicators, Jesus Christ save everyone. But it's hard to get saved if you're in a religion that says that Jesus didn't die for your sins. Dore. God bless you. Right on. Amen. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, brother. God bless you. God bless. Thank you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Just pray for me. Praise the Lord for me, brother. Thank you. Praise the Lord for me. <laughs> You should become Christian now. I know you're angry. You know why you're angry? Because it's so hard to defend your religion. It's so hard to accept. You know, you know why I won't give you the mic? Because this is a blessed mic. If you want to, if you want to accept Jesus Christ today, you, I'll let you say anything you want to say. But I talk to you every day, and you know what the Bible says: Do not cast your pearls before swine. And so I've told you every single day about the love of the Lord. I, I, you heard what the Bible just said. I just quoted the Bible. So you saw? Are you? Are, so are you? Did you call yourself that? I don't eat pork, so I, I'm, you're talking to me. You're not talking to a whole Christian nation. I don't care what the service says. It was written by a devil. So you could, you could recite that until your face is blue, and I'm going to keep rebuking that because I don't, like, I don't like demon scriptures. The Bible says that the Quran is a doctrine of demons. So you could, you could say all these crazy... Have you read the Quran? I don't want to read the Quran anymore. You know how I got to this point? You know how I got to this point? By reading the Quran. Okay, well now, you see how angry you are because you can't defend your belief. You're not letting me. You, you can't. Me. You can't defend. What, you can't defend. You can't defend the Quran. It's, it's undefendable. Now that Sandra's gone. Yeah, now that Sandra's gone. Look, why don't you just do this? Look, you can accept Jesus today. I love Jesus. Oh, you're about to say something bad about Jesus. I can see it in your face. Yeah, you do. Then, then why don't you believe what he said? Did Jesus say that he died for your sins? If you love him so much, why do you why do you call him a liar? Did Jesus die for your sins? Then you just call Jesus a liar. Yeah, in, in, the, in the NGO it says that he died for your sins. And you're saying that he's a liar. Is, is the NGO corrupted? Is, 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 the, is, the, is the Torah and the NGO the word of God? No, no. So when did it, so when did it get corrupted? Because according to, your, uh, according to your book it says God's word cannot be corrupted. And it says that the NGO and the Torah are the word of God. So, so you're rather saying that Allah's a liar. Or that you're saying that he couldn't protect his word. Which one are you saying? It's corrupted. How? Yeah. Who's John? Who's Paul? Oh, okay. So you don't know? No, no. Let's, we're going to stick on the Quran. The Quran says that. The Quran says that the Torah. I'm, not, I'm going to talk to the Quran. I don't care about human beings. I'm, I'm fighting against spirits and demons. No, no. You answer me. No, no. I'm not answering you. You answer me. I'm a grown man. And I'm, I'll have the microphone, so I dominate the conversation, you answer my questions. Okay, in the Quran, and then I'll answer your questions next, all right? In the Quran, it says that the Torah is the word of God. It says that the Injil is the word of God. And it says, okay, wait, see, that's, that's, that's what's wrong with Muslims. You can never talk because you, because you have a, a weak point. Now, if your point was so valid, you would wait for me to finish. You would wait for me to finish. You see what I mean? If their point was so valid, they would wait for me to make my point, then they would make their point. 
They know that their point, their point is so invalid that they don't have nothing to say. They don't have anything to say. If their, if their point was so valid, they would wait. It would, it would still be valid when I was done talking. But they have to cut you off. They have to, to stop you mid-sentence. They have to do all these things to make their, their, point, their point valid. You see, when you stand on the truth, you can have calm. As a matter of fact, the, 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 we're taught that the Bible is a gospel of peace. You're looking at peace right here. Look, how, look what Islam does. They get angry and they get mad and they run off. What happened to an open dialogue? We live in a, we live in a society where, we, where open dialogues are healthy, discussions are healthy, and we learn more by each, each other's culture, by debate. And sometimes we can, we can uh, come to an agreement, sometimes we can agree to disagree. But as soon as, you have, as soon as I say something that you disagree with and it turns into an argument, it means there's something wrong with your heart. And if there's something wrong with your heart, it's coming from anger. And the Bible teaches us that anger lies in the bosoms of Christ. Amen. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Would you like to be one too? I'm Catholic. Amen. I was raised as a Amen. What are you doing here? I'm a Catholic. So you're a Catholic? What does John 15 say? I have no idea what my religion is. Okay, says. Okay, well, John. I have nothing to do with my religion. I'm a Catholic. Amen. Were you Catholic? I was raised as a Catholic. Okay, amen. Well, what are you doing here? I'm, I'm preaching the gospel. Are you trying to convert other people? Yes. Yes, amen. I want the whole world to be followers of Christ because if they don't, they're going to perish. The Bible says, the Bible says that he who does not believe is condemned already. So that means everyone who doesn't believe in Jesus is condemned. And condemna condemnation is this, that light has come into the world and, and uh, men love darkness instead of light. So what I'm, what I'm out here to do is because I'm, I'm commissioned by Jesus Christ according to John 15 to spread that light. Matter of fact, because I'm a child of God, I am a light to this world exposing the darkness. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. I, I just explained what I said, what I'm doing. Do, like do I like Islam? What do you mean Islam? What do you mean by Islam? I, I only, I only, I don't really mean like. Do you respect the religion? Okay, this is what the Bible says about other religions, right? Would you like, I'm going to tell you what the Bible says. I respect individuals. People. I, 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 people. I, so look, but the thing is, Islam is an ideology. So you, so you do, want me, do you want me to respect an ideology? Individuals, amen. I respect all. Matter of fact, I more than respect people. I love people. That's why we're out here. I don't get paid to be out here, amen. You know what? Um, when I when I come when I go home right now, there's probably a Muslim watching my daughter right now, because my my wife was Muslim and she has sisters, and we haven't we haven't we haven't split them yet. What you are? you are and love I love everybody, sister. Okay. Amen. But I don't feel that. Why not? Well, I haven't I haven't said anything yet. Everything that I've heard, I have. What have you heard? I've heard whatever you have said. What have you heard? I don't feel it. Okay, well, okay. what have you heard? I See, because look, you're, you're speaking in vague, in vague repetitions because if, if I said something that was incorrect, you, you would be able to tell me, like, if you said, like, the N-word, I'd be like, you said the N-word. So if I really said something that was incorrect, it should be fresh in your mind and you should be able to verbalize it to me. What did I say that was incorrect? No, I can't. I, I don't know anything about So why don't you feel the love, then? Brother, we love Muslims, but we don't like the ideology. All right, so look, if, if, if I know, if you're driving down the street... No, wait. Well, yeah, she was speaking the truth. the truth, and out of love, yeah, don't hate the truth. out of love. How do you know the truth? Because Jesus said, "I am the truth, the way, and the light. No one comes to the Father except by me." She was speaking the Quran. Yeah, well, she, because this, what she was doing was she was. Did you read the Quran? I've read the Quran. Oh, you have. Have you? Have you read the Bible? Look, my turn. Have you read the Bible? Do you know? Do you know about Jesus? You don't. Would you like to know about Jesus? Okay. Well, well Jesus. There's only. Do you believe in? Do you know? Do you know there's an afterlife? Okay. No. Do you know that? I'm telling you. I'm asking. Do you know? Okay, well, there's an afterlife, and in that afterlife, you, when the body, when you when you die, your spirit goes somewhere, and and you rather go to God or you go or you're separated from God, right? So the, so the only way that God looks at you as, as a brother or as a sister or as a child is when you accept Jesus. You understand? So Jesus is salvation. Every other religion except for Jesus is damnation. So a true brother, a true person who knows this, because it's not a belief, I know it for sure, is going to tell, is going to try to save as many people as they can from God's judgment. And that's what Jesus Christ is. He's the appeasement or the atonement of sins. So that's what we're doing. Okay, well listen to this. Listen to this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but through the world, but through him the world might be saved. He that believes is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the gospel.